Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan Richards. Today we're gonna have a look at how we can use these ones, visual prompts, to make your OneNote pages come to life. All right, so this video is going to form part of a group of videos that we're going to do around how to make your OneNote pages look a little bit more visually appealing. And visual prompts are a pretty good way of doing it. They look cool and they also have a really good, you know, educational and pedagogical context towards using them. Now, also guys, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the little bell if you want to be notified for when we bring out new content. So let's have a look at this one. We have a series of kind of example ones here. You can access this one note. There's a link in the description that you can click on to get to here. And these are just some examples. We've used what are called like flat icons here. We've downloaded them and kind of come up with words that we think associate with them. So what I'm going to do is I've got a worksheet here. So this lesson one worksheet, there it is. It's kind of like my standard type of base around using tables. Um, once we've had this up, we'll put some links in for you just so you can see how we built this out. This is another really great video to watch on how we build and make it format like this so it flows and works really well. But when I add my visual prompts here, and so if we click back for one second here, what we can see is that I want to look for ones that associate to what I'm asking the students to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through my, my lesson here that I have set up and I'm going to think about how do I want my students to respond. There's a couple of different ways you can put these visual prompts in. So let's say that I want my students to respond to these particular questions in particular ways. So what I'm going to do is let's say this family one here, I'm going to say that I want my students to type that answer. So we're just going to grab this little type icon here. I'm going to uh, copy that one. And in this little cell that I've actually allocated next to it, I'm going to hit paste. And that little icon just acts as a visual representation of what I'm asking the students to do. I could go through and do that for each one of them. If I wanted them um, to maybe record uh, their holiday experience here, which is this one, is that instead of having the type icon, I could click here on the record one. Let's copy that one. And I'm going to paste it here next to the holiday one. And I put this little icon in. And you can see how that will build over time. And I could have different icons depending on the way that I want my students to respond. Now let's say question two though, I want them to respond in the same way for each one of it. And so what I will do here, let's just say I just want them want them to type. That's okay, so I'm gonna come back up here to my type one, and I might just choose just to pop it here on the outside like that, and I could drag it and make it a bit bigger and sit it off to the side. I could also kind of come in here, you know, uh, space this out a little bit more and put my icon there make it a little bit bigger totally up to you lots of options let's look at question three this one's a little bit different using emojis are a perfect way to also kind of provide that visual prompt and make things look cool you can see down the bottom here culture friends something else they already have them there so let's say I want to do one for TV shows. Now, depending on your device, um, if you're on a Windows device, it's going to be Windows key full stop. On a Mac, it is control command space bar, and that will open up my emoji keyboard. So control command space bar, best friend. And then what I can do is, you know, write uh, TV, unless it's in my favorites, which it was because I use it all the time. And I'm going to click on the little TV and it's going to put that little TV icon. So I'll show you that again. So sports here. So it is either Windows key full stop or control command space bar. And then I'm going to write in sport. I've got an option here for sport. I'm going to choose a football here. Let's click on that. There we go. It's in. And that's another way that I can provide those visual responses as well. It's also really great for differentiating. So let's have a look at this last activity here that I have set up. Let's say for a particular student, I actually don't want them to do it in their OneNote. I just want them to see it as a reference material. I might come over here, let's say, and grab this write in your book option. Okay, I'm gonna go copy, 
I'm going to bring that over, paste, it's a little bit too big, and I'm going to pop that in, like so. And so there I have my my newly refreshed <laughs> OneNote page. And so you can see there are lots of other options here as well. Now it may take time for students to kind of get used to what each one means. You can either choose to keep copying and pasting this. This is option one, probably. Um, I can come over here and paste it off to the side. So they've got like, it's like a key or a legend. Or one of my favorite things to do is put your visual prompts in the content library. And then so let's hypothetically say this is a content library. I'm going to right click on visual prompts. I'm then going to go and copy link to page. And then in here, I can paste that link in. And there it is there. I don't need to write anything because it just takes the name. And then that there can act as a guide for my students. So if we bring that out a little bit more, I might just pop that there in the corner. And so if a student's like, oh, I can't, you know, I can't remember what this means, which would be a bit of a worry, but I can't remember what that one means. I can come up here, click on visual prompts, and it will take me straight there. And then I can just go back to my worksheet because I can look it up. So guys, there it is. Visual prompts help to make your pages look really, really cool. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, you subscribe, hit that um, little bell icon to keep notified. Write any comments or ideas that you have or you want to see in the comment section. And otherwise, we will see you again soon. Cheers.